Hello everyone, welcome back to Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure, episode number 14, where we're going to the new art shop that has just opened. Hey, it's this guy. Ah, a customer. Welcome to my art shop. I opened the shop because I wanted to help the ordinary Parisian discover a love for art. So, what can I do for you today? Would you like a painting done? Oh, you are here to see Vergier. I'm afraid you missed him. He left some time ago. We've been friends since university. I only wish you'd tell me you... Yeah, I wish, only wish he'd told me he was, he was coming. Social graces were never his strong suit. He has a kid just about your age, you know? They just missed each other, in fact. Apparently, Charlie and Vergier had some sort of a tip. Did they look something like this? Charlie was here? You don't know where Charlie went, do you? I seem to recall something about the place of the gnome. Maybe that explains the, very, the striking pink outfit Charlie had on. Very chic. Pink? That doesn't sound like Charlie. Well, thanks for the help. Guess we better check out the place of the gnome. Oh, yes. I love this part. Like, when this happened in my game, I was just like, wait, what? Because it was so... So fantastic, just how they hid this the whole time. I will find him show up next. He's already been seen at the Louvre, the Opera House in Versailles. His next car target could be anywhere. No you standing around wondering, time to find some answers. You! You wouldn't happen to know where Phantomar might strike next, would you? You have no idea? Well, I suppose the chances were slim. What? You don't know if I saw a kid wearing pink? As a matter of fact, I saw someone in pink hanging toward the apartment just down the road. The porter never forgets a face. Right, that's why you don't recognize that I am Phantom R. Um, actually, can I get to the Champ de Mars from here? It's Mitchell! Excuse me, per person I've never seen before, but did you see a kid dressed in pink come through here? Hmm, a kid in pink? Come to think of it, I did see someone heading for the Moosey Road Inn. They didn't look too happy about it either. Thanks. That voice sounded awfully familiar. Let's see. Now, I don't think I can get to Champ de Mars yet. If I can, I don't know where that actually is. <laughs> Do snow, sleet, or hail, the post delivers. Don't need delivery, just info. You seen a kid wearing pink come this way? Pink, pink. Ah, there was someone dressed in pink head for the back of Los Invalids. Thanks. Laugh all you can, Charlie. Charlie? Charlie was here? Wee, oui, Charlie was here. My arch enemy never misses a chance to rub my nose in the dirt. You two friends? Er, well, something like that. Perfect. And you can take back this ball. This soccer ball? Is it Charlie's? We had a shootout. I was out tripled, and the next thing I know, the game is over. Charlie's even better than at the tournament. I haven't given up yet. I'll practice. I'll be back. Soccer ball will have Charlie sent. Can you pick it up, Pandu? He's headed for FDR Avenue. Oh, what are we waiting for? Shake a paw. The Pont Alexander III. What a cute dog. One of my customers had the most adorable poodle. I bet you two would hit it off. Elon walks through the place to the Concord all the time. She has the cutest pink coat, the dog, of my customer. <laughs> well, we just went all the way around. What's that? Keep going north. What's wrong, Pondu? You lose the scent? Oh, I get it. The old lady's perfume is stuffing up your sniffer. I wonder if there's a way we can get her to clear out. I've had... I've all but had it with the city. The must just attacked us while we were walking through Place Vendome. I couldn't let anything happen to my poor Sapphire. He's pedigreed, you know. So I got out of there as fast as I could. Sounds like a real brush with death. If I hear so much as another squeak, I'll be beating a hasty retreat, I can tell you that. 
I feel bad for the lady, but I thought I'd get her to go away by getting her to, to hear a sound, the sound of a mouth. I steal a Concord, I tell the Cilion to his thingy. Hey, look, we went all the way back to Place de Vendome. Record the mouse. Can I record the cat while I'm here? Cool. That's uh, one of the things that we need for the uh, master instrument, actually. Oh gosh, is this the second rhythm game from him? Well, the contest between the real Fentimar and the funny Fentimar drew a crowd. We still need more customers. Suppose it was fun enough. We could hold another contest. Huh, <laughs> another one? A real Phantom versus funny Phantom fight, huh? What do you think? Oh gosh, this one's gonna be the harder one of the same one I just did. Want to take me on? I'm ready and waiting. Well, Phantom R, the real Phantom R. Oh, so you admit to being funny? You never learn, do you? Funny? Of course not. You're the funny Phantom R, and I'll prove it this time. Mimic the Fox Phantom's moves. R28. Return of the Fox Phantom R. Come with me. This dance is on. Let's dance. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, down, down, down. Uh, down, down, down. I didn't catch that last one because of the fact that I was busy getting ready to sneeze. I have the guide on. Well, let's see if that helps. Tells me what comes next. This one is hard. I didn't really practice the Fox Phantom R one the first time, so it's kind of understandable. This is pretty difficult. So. Fast. 
This is so hard. Why is it fast that one? <laughs> that was apparently spot on. I couldn't hear the things that the guy was saying because the music was weird. It's like vocal just suddenly very very loud. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna give this one more try. Better. Better. You might get to the third one now. Say, all right, I'm gonna give it one more try. That's the one I always get it through. Not bad. Would not have been able to do that without the guide at all. There was too many that were far too long for me to memorize. We got it though. That's what matters. Cause over, folks. Sorry, I think I need need a little more practice before you're ready for the big Phantom Leaks. Grr. I'll never admit defeat. Never. You hear me, Phantom? Ah. Well, that happened. <laughs> Oopsie, one too far. Time for a little tiny squeak. Hey, is that in the mouse? Filthy beast, scum sapphire. It's not safe here. Like taking candy from a baby. Nerf. Oh sure, you're all tough now, you big scaredy cat. Follow well, the scent to Charlie. 
this. This is great. Is that really him? I mean her? <laughs> Bonjour, Charlie. Is this seat taken? <laughs> We don't want to disturb the other customers. I'm just as surprised as you are. I never thought that you'd look so good in a dress. So, the truth, Sal. This is how I look when I go to school. What do you want? I've come to ask for your help. As it turns out, Charlie is actually a girl. Uh, I love how they hid that through the entire thing. And so, and so you want me to help you save Murray. This is a joke, yes? Why would I help my sworn enemy? What? Don't I get any credit for saving you back at the Opera House? I did not ask for your help. I owe you nothing. So you're just gonna let a madman run the streets of Paris? I thought detectives tried to lock up people like that. Fine, have it your way. Sorry to bother you. Oh, I almost forgot. Inspector Vergier dropped this. Mind giving it back to him? I do mind. If I never see him again, it will be too soon. Wait, there's something written on the picture. It's my mother's handwriting. I will keep our family safe while you keep our city safe. I know you will not let us down, my brave, noble constable. Your darling daughter, Charlotte, and your loving wife. I never knew my mother felt that way about my father. Fantomar, wait! If we're going to do this, I want to make one thing clear. We are still enemies. This partnership ends as soon as Napoleon is brought to justice. I can live with that. My father must learn that he is not the only one protecting Paris. I owe you one, Charlotte. Thanks. Charlie's fine. Only my dad calls me Charlotte. So what's the plan? Yes. Yes, with the Eiffel Tower as the stage, that should work. I'll go on ahead and wait at the Eiffel Tower. Meet me there when you're ready. I will be there. I'm never late. I'm counting on it. See you at the Eiffel Tower. Here we go. We're coming, Marie. Alright, so now we have just need to head straight to the Eiffel Tower at this point. And right before we do, we have to stop at the Champs, Champ de Mars. Because this is actually one of the locations of the Phantom Notes. Um, oh yeah, this one was really obnoxious to find last time. The guide for this area does not give you a very good location. Like... For instance, left end of the flower bed, right? And that says, to the right of the fourth piece. You know, it's like, or for example, the second one. The, the first one is top left of the left hedge. That says, to the right and down a bit of the first place. There it is. Not the best instructions. There we go. Needed that. Thanks. All right. Uh, well, before we step in to the uh, um, Eiffel Tower, I think we can go ahead and end this episode off here. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. And I'll see you all next time. See you later.